We're all patiently awaiting the Epstein documents to get dropped. But this is not, my friends, the Epstein client list. And it is infuriating how many people on Twitter X keep saying hashtag Epstein client list. This is not that. And the reason why Jimmy Kimmel's name has a strong probability may likely appear in these documents is not because Jimmy Kimmel is friends with Epstein, flew on his plane or went to his island. He denies all of that. It's because these documents are related to a defamation lawsuit, which means there could be a ton of names completely unrelated to Epstein in this. But I suppose those of you who watch Timcast are aware of the reality of what we're about to experience. And the people on social media, on Twitter and X, who don't dive deeper, unfortunately, even those on the right side of news media are still being misinformed. And it is frustrating to no end. There's several, several bits of misinformation that are going around. I don't think it is intentionally wrong. I think people just don't read enough into this. First, the Epstein list was not delayed. We got this report that they were saying the names were going to be delayed until the 22nd due to Doe 107, who argues that because she lives in a conservative country, association with the Epstein list could be very dangerous. What does that mean, a conservative country? That's apparently not the United States. So who knows? Everyone's trying to speculate who this might be. But apparently that only means this one name may be delayed. One name. Because we currently have reporting from the messenger citing the SDNY. The first names on the list are expected to be released today. They are not just releasing this huge list. But again, this is not the Epstein client list. Lord have mercy. Now, Jimmy Kim was mad at Aaron Rodgers if their comment about the release of names on Jeffrey Epstein's alleged associates. This is the media being a bunch of just disgusting. Oh, I, I, I hate it. I hate the media. I'm really frustrated right now. Let me let me just go through all this for you. Aaron Rodgers says something to the effect of Jimmy Kimmel must be worried. Jimmy Kimmel has really good reason to be worried because his name may be in these court documents, despite the fact that let's just say he has nothing to do with Epstein because he says he doesn't. Despite that fact, it doesn't mean anything. Why? In the lawsuit, it's a defamation lawsuit. There are many people named, including victims, housekeepers, and third parties that are unrelated. It does reportedly contain associates and clients, as I mentioned, victims. Why may Jimmy Kimmel be named in this? In this? Because it could be something as simple as in the document outlining what happened. Some One of the victims, or uh, Virgi- I believe it was Virginia du- uh, Jufre suing Maxwell. So they, they could have written, the client was watching Jimmy Kimmel when the perpetrator walked in the room and said, oh, I'm about to do something evil. Get it? Meaning Jimmy Kimmel gets named in this despite the fact that he has nothing to do with it. Now, to be fair, I think all of the people who are named in this who are currently remaining anonymous are aware they're in it. So I don't think Jimmy Kimmel will actually appear in it despite it being a possibility. That being said as well, there is a possibility the reason he doesn't know he's in this document It's because he's not related to the case and his name is only peripheral. Like I said, there could be a story where it's like I woke up in the morning and was watching a rerun of Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel, being a prominent comedian, was playing throughout the night. As I got up to leave, I'll give you a better reason, to be completely honest, why Jimmy Kimmel may actually appear on this list. We have this tweet from Myth Informed. Jimmy Kimmel and his BFF, Adam Perry Lang, who was Jeffrey Epstein's personal chef for years in this video. Now, uh, let me let me just pull up. Uh, we'll get a, We'll get a bio on Adam Perry Lang so we can all just I want to make sure we get to we get everything uh, 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 absolutely correct. Right. Let's see. Sports Kita. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You got the source. Who is Adam Perry Lang? Jimmy Kimmel's association with Jeffrey Epstein's private chef surfaces amid Aaron Rodgers claim. Yes. So Jimmy may be freaking out. Let's say that Jimmy didn't do anything wrong. And OK, fine, whatever. You get in this someone writing in the document. I was in the basement uh, as Adam Perry Lang was cooking for Jeffrey Epstein and on the phone with Jimmy Kimmel. 
when Jeffrey Epstein said X, Y, and Z. It doesn't mean Jimmy did anything wrong. This is the the reason why I'm 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 going so heavily into Jimmy Kimmel on this one is because people keep claiming it's the client list and that the people named are going to be clients. Dude, Donald Trump is probably named in this. There's going to be something like I had just watched Donald Trump speak at a rally when I turned the TV off and then looked to my side and you get the point. And this is what they're going to do. So many people in the anti-establishment side are claiming it's the client list over and over and over again that when Trump or whoever, whoever gets named in this. They're go- the media is going to report Donald Trump named in Epstein documents. And then all of these people who were misled by these Internet warriors who kept saying client list over and over again are going to be contributing to the lie that Donald Trump was working with Epstein. In fact, there I believe there was an FBI agent. Many people bring this up. At least I'm told. No, but this has been reported. That Donald Trump was one of the only people to actually try and work against Epstein. Donald Trump kicked him out of Mar-a-Lago, apparently. Now, according to the messenger, the first names are going to be released. The first 150 plus names expected to be released today. Yet they keep saying that. We'll see. The unsealings expected today said Ed Friedland, the district executive for the Southern District of New York. The documents were ordered unsealed by Judge Loretta Preska in a civil case brought uh, against Ghislaine Maxwell by Virginia Giuffre. Names of Epstein and Maxwell's victims, associates, alleged co-conspirators are expected to be made public as part of the document dump. They could also include a bevy of bold-faced names whose ties to Epstein have long been known, including Bill Clinton and Prince Andrew. The defamation suit against Maxwell will settle in 2017, but the Miami Herald filed motions in the case to unseal the records that had been hidden from public view. A federal appears, appeals court sided with the Herald, paving the way for a cachet of documents in the case to be filed publicly. The other narrative that was coming out was that the list was being delayed. My understanding is this is not the case, and this is related only to one name. They're not going to be releasing every single name that was redacted in the documents. They have given individuals a chance to respond to the court. In this story, which is widely reported, Jane Doe has until January 22nd to prove she would be in danger if named. Who is Doe 107? Everyone is speculating. They're going to say the release of the long awaited Epstein list of associates and high profile friends has been thrown into chaos by a woman who claims she'll be in danger if named in her culturally conservative country. The entire list of 187 names was due to become public this week, but a filing by a woman in court papers as John Doe, John Doe 107. Is it, I believe it's Jane Doe, right? Jane Doe or John Doe, uh, either way. Uh, 107, blah, 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 appears to have stalled it. Pre- uh, Preska ordered the release. We know this. She has won a last minute reprieve. It remains unclear if the same delay now applies to the entire list. It does not. The United States District Court for the uh, SDNY, which was yesterday advising that the list was imminent, is yet to provide an answer. And the woman's attorney is also in the dark as to whether everyone else will now enjoy the same extension. You know, I want to point out, I predicted this, okay? And I'm not trying to brag. It's not a bold prediction. I just said it is very likely that one of these people on the list is going to file and argue they're in danger. It's really simple. What if you're a a taxi driver? No, 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 seriously. You're a cab driver and your name is John Smith and you picked up someone from the airport in New York and drove them to an apartment somewhere in Manhattan. And uh, you had a conversation with someone involved with Epstein in the documents, as I've already pointed out, right? I gave numerous examples of how it could be like on TV, but look, let's give a real, a more realistic, uh, realistic example. John Smith drove me, uh, my friend, John Smith picked me up from the airport and drove me to the, the penthouse where I'd be staying that night. That's it. The only time the person gets named, doesn't know Epstein, doesn't know the victim was, or, or gave someone a ride and doesn't know much. That person's going to get named too. Now, as it pertains to housekeepers and stuff, I've made this point as well. Name them, shame them, lock them up. If you were a maid, if you were a hedge trimmer, if you mowed the lawn for Jeffrey Epstein on his private island, you should go to prison because you were cleaning up for him and facilitating. Now, I suppose fine, fine, maybe it's a little harsh. If all you did was mow the lawn and you had no idea what was going on, 
Perhaps an argument be made. But I really, I'm not sure I'm going to buy it. But innocent until proven guilty, fine, so be it. As for the housekeepers, nah, lock them up. Any housekeeper on Epstein's island knew what was going on. Why? Because they cleaned up. They were basically covering things up. So I don't care what your job was. Were you Jeffrey Epstein's personal chef? Lock them up. You facilitated the food consumption for what was going on with Epstein and Epstein Island. Let's 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 jump to this. Adam Perry Lang, Epstein's personal chef. There's a lot of people, including Jimmy Kimmel, really hoping that that doesn't come out. Rogers said about a list of 150 associates of Epstein. In the wake of his name dropping, netizens have dug dug out how Jeffrey Epstein's private chef Adam Perry Lang was once arrested uh, was once arrested from Jimmy Kimmel's beachside rental home in Hermosa, California, which happened in February 2019. According to LA Eater, they say Adam Perry Lang, who also was in the rest, blah, 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 was once the private chef of billionaire financier Jeffrey Epstein. In 2019, Lang went on record to say that he was a, that he was a young chef whose role in Epstein's life was solely limited to meal prep. The chef further added that he was unaware of the depraved behavior of his previous employer. He also extended sympathy and admiration for the woman who has come forward. So this is in 2019. So when did this guy work for him? However, unsealed court documents obtained by the news outlet revealed that Adam Perry Lang often flew in Epstein's private jets to places including Florida, New Mexico, and the Virgin Islands, also known properties of the multimillionaire uh, sex trafficking ring. As a result, speculations emerged. The chef, too, was involved in the illegal business. Stop, 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 stop. Adam Perry Lang was involved in Epstein's illegal business. Okay, I got to I got to just I got to break this down for you, okay? If you are a shoe shiner for the mafia and they have clients come in and you clean the client's shoes, you're a part of their illegal business. Now, I'm not saying you committed any crimes or anything, but you're certainly a part of it. To make the argument, they say uh, all known properties of a millionaire blah 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 blah. Speculations emerged the chef too was involved in the illegal business. Okay. He was. He was producing food, flying on the planes, working for Epstein as a component of the illegal sex trafficking business. Doesn't mean he knew about it. I just kind of feel like if you're flying on a plane, they call the Lolita Express. I have to wonder how you could be possibly so blind and stupid. But sure, innocent until proven guilty. Meanwhile, Virginia Roberts Jufre, one of Epstein's victims, accused Lang of being aware. That's interesting. On Tara Palmieri's podcast, Broken, Jeffrey alleged that Lang often served food and drinks to the underage girls on Epstein's properties, making him a co-facilitator. The Epstein victim also stated that she and Palmieri wanted to deliver a letter to Lang at his Manhattan Beach home, seeking his help to locate Epstein's associates. However, upon arrival, they got information that Lang was not home and was rather staying at a Hermosa Beach property owned by Jimmy Kimmel. Not only that, but they figured out Jimmy Kimmel was one of was also the co-owner of Lang's APL restaurant, as per LA Eater. This does not mean Jimmy Kimmel did anything wrong, but the likelihood that he appears in the documents is actually, let's just say, meritous. There is a real reason Kimmel may appear in these documents. So when Jimmy Kimmel threatens to sue Aaron Rodgers, it's laughable. Apparently, in February 2019, Lang was taken into police custody at Kimmel's home after a 911 call was made saying a man inside the home the house was assaulting a woman with a firearm, making threats with explosives. However, Lang was later released and charges were dropped due to a lack of evidence. Very interesting. For the unaware, Epstein died by suicide. By hang- I-, I-, I think it's really funny that they would actually try to report that. Dude, if you want to report it, you can say authorities say Epstein died by suicide. That's a fair statement. Authorities did say that. But come on. If you're going to say that, you can at least say authorities claim that Jeffrey Epstein died by suicide in a small room with a bedsheet tied around his neck, which he jumped off the top bunk with his legs folded to hang down to commit suicide. At the same time, the cameras stopped working. The guards fell asleep. Sure. We'll see if I believe that. New York Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers recently took a dig at Jimmy Kimmel during the Pat McAfee show. When co-host A.J. Hawk asked Rogers about his thoughts regarding the much anticipated release of the list of Jeffrey Epstein Associates, Rogers quipped that many people, including Jimmy Kimmel, were hoping that the list never would never see the light of day. Meanwhile, Kimmel got got the heat of Aaron Rodgers comments about him and called him on an X while simultaneously dismissing Rogers claims about his allegation. Like, OK, no, I'm going to say clearly Jimmy Kimmel is worried he's going to be on the list. 
Who would not be? Okay, everyone's worried that this list of names, not the client list, is going to include their information. And people have pointed out, hey, I bet Trump's on the list. Dear a-hole, he's by the way, two A's. For the record, I have not met, flown with, visited, or had any contact whatsoever with Epstein, nor will you find my name on any list other than the clearly phony nonsense that soft-brained wackos like yourself can't seem to distinguish from reality. It's interesting. Jimmy, you're not doing yourself any favors, buddy. He says, I've not met, flown with, visited, or had any contact whatsoever with Epstein. What does that mean? What does that mean? You can't you can't play this game. I understand what Jimmy's trying to say. He's trying to unequivocally say nothing to do with this. But bro, when you say things like this, it only makes you look more suspect. You've not met with. OK, does that mean you talk to him on the phone? He says, for the record, I've not met. OK, did you uh, call him? Did someone facilitate messages between the two of you saying that doesn't do anything flown with? So what you've never been on his plane. Did you work with him in any way? Visited. So, right. You didn't go to his island or his penthouse or at any contact whatsoever. Fair point there. Phone calls out the window. I don't think Jimmy Kimmel was working with Epstein. That's my point. My point is, however, is it possible, based on the statement, which clears up nothing, that through Adam Perry Lang, he was working with him in some way? Let's say this. Jimmy Kimmel, may be, according to some reports, co-owner in this restaurant with Adam Perry Lang, who was the private chef for, uh, for Epstein, who apparently knew what was going on, says Virginia Dufresne, who likely says this in her court documents. Is it possible that Epstein helped finance this restaurant for which Jimmy Kimmel is a partner? Doesn't mean Jimmy Kimmel ever talked to the guy, but Jimmy Kimmel may have benefited directly or indirectly. It may be as simple as this. Virginia Dufresne says Adam Perry Lang, celebrity chef, was witness to, to all of these instances, blah, 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 blah. Perry, uh, uh, Perry Lang, of course, co-owns a restaurant with Jimmy Kimmel called APL or whatever. That was, you know, whatever related to Epstein. Or maybe it's not related to Epstein, but either way, a very easy path to Jimmy Kimmel being named on the list. Kimmel stated Roger's reckless words endangered his family, which is a meaningless thing to me, considering when Jimmy Kimmel does the same thing to Aaron Rodgers and called him a whack packer. Maybe you're putting his family in danger, too. But Jimmy Kimmel doesn't care because he's a piece of trash. Jimmy Kimmel said that his own friend should not get hospital treatment. It is noteworthy that this is not the first time Aaron Rodgers has talked about the release of Epstein's list or associates with the Pat McAfee show earlier in February 2023. He asked the host whether they knew anything about the existing list. I love that Aaron Rodgers brings this stuff up. The following month on Jimmy Kimmel Live, the late night host called Rodgers a tinfoil hatter and mocked him, saying he needed to revisit the concussion protocol. You see, it's very strange. Aaron Rodgers points out a big breaking news story that we're all talking about, the Epstein list and the names that may get released. OK, we're waiting for them. And Jimmy Kimmel insults him over it. And so Aaron Rodgers is like, man, Jimmy Kimmel must be worried about what's coming out on this list. I think so. I certainly think so. Now, Alan Dershowitz says a lot of people hung out with Epstein, claims document dump will exonerate him. I'm going to be completely fair and reasonable, my friends. Yeah, there's probably going to be people named on this list who did nothing wrong. And I don't want anyone to get dragged through the mud or threatened because of these documents. I don't know who Jane Doe 107 is. Maybe she's got good reason. It has nothing to do with it. Maybe she's evil. But here's the issue. Do not become the angry mob that condemns people based on public association. If someone met Jeffrey Epstein at a party, that doesn't mean anything. OK, right. There's a picture of Elon Musk with Ghislaine Maxwell. I am not going to claim Elon Musk did anything wrong because of that. And they try to. And Elon's like, we're taking a picture. And she walked up and stood in the picture with me. OK, even if that wasn't true, even if Elon Musk saw Epstein and Maxwell at a party and walked up and said, hey, how do you do? And shook their hand and smiled for a photo. I'm not going to blame him. Now, if if Musk was flying on their planes to private islands, sure, we got questions. Apparently, it's not the case. But that's the game they play, my friends. I remember Jordan Peterson took a picture with some fans who unfurled a Kekistani flag. If you don't know what it is, you can Google search the meme. Peterson didn't know what he was doing. He's like, I was a fan. I want to take a picture. And then they're like, aha, look, he's posing with the flag. Therefore, I ah, get out of here, man. 
What I want to know is who are the evil people who were paying for Epstein services, who, who were involved in the abuse of these underage women, who helped facilitate it? I am not interested in learning that Epstein went to a party at, you know, I don't know, someone's house. Because then people are going to be like, headline, boom, Donald Trump hosts Epstein at big party documents reveal, or they're going to play this dirty game where they say Donald Trump named an Epstein list. Then the left will start screaming, this proves that Donald Trump is this, that, or otherwise, because that is the dirty game they play. I am uninterested in that. Now, Alan Dershowitz says a lot of people knew him, but he didn't know what was going on. I wonder if the reason Dershowitz has been so friendly to the MAGA people is that he can see the writing on the wall. He knows where this is going. Epstein's network is going down and anybody involved is going with him. But Dershowitz will endear himself to the Trump side of things by defending Trump and maybe save his own skin. Or maybe he's telling the truth. He hung out with Epstein, flew on his plane because he had a plane, but he didn't know anything about what Epstein was doing. I've flown on private planes before, you know. I have no idea what these guys are doing. And like these two guys, you know, we will charter a jet and they'll be like, here's the jet. And then what if it turns out some crazy crackpot owned that jet? I don't know, man. I get it. A charter is different from like, you know, a guy inviting you on his jet. But I have ridden on a, on a billionaire's jet before. And who knows? You know. Just a regular old billionaire. Not Epstein, though. Never had anything to do with any of that. And most people don't. And that's why. I'm happy to see the list come out. And if that means Kimmel, Dershowitz, or whoever, their name's going to drop, it means we're going to have some questions for you. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at 4 p.m. on the channel. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you all then.